Welcome to my new Let's Play! I am going to play Lufia Rise of the Sinistrals, which is technically the second game of the Lufia series, but is actually a prequel to the first game, Fortress of Doom. I might do a Let's Play of Fortress of Doom, I'm not sure because I remember that game always confused me with its controls and I always got lost or stuck at the same point. I could be playing the normal game or gift mode, which is actually something entirely different, but I'm going to go for retry mode because I get quadruple amounts of experience and money. Which... oopsie. Let's revert to calling him Maxim, because I rather like that name. Why not? And here we are in... Random starting city. Well, village, more likely. Wow. Maxim killed six jellies. Yeah, six jellies. He the man. Nothing against that, but... yeah. It just seems a bit... weird to put emphasis that he killed jellies. Maybe it's just me, but do you guys think that she has a thing for him? It's just a hunch. Hey, Tia. You still mad at me? I am so cheesed off with you! By the way, do you want to buy anything? Yeah, I don't think they're selling anything great right now. Eh, yeah, nothing, nothing. Anyway, the nice thing about quadruple experience and money is that... Yes, it's always the guy's fault. He is always the one who has to apologize. Anyway, with quadruple experience, you do get levels faster, and it is much easier to get to level 99 early in the game. Well, early. Let's say late mid-game point. The only reason I'm getting or going for the retry mode, which, by the way, you unlock by finishing the game once, Gift mode is unlocked if you finish it a second time. There's a somewhat hopeless boss battle at the midpoint of the game, which is overall... I don't think I have managed to defeat him before, so I want to try it out. Wow. Okay, old man. I'll just go outside and you tell me when you're ready. Okay. That's a good enough time then. Okay. Guess we'd better go follow him. Monsters move only when you move. So don't worry even if a monster is in front of you. Oh no! It's a jelly! By the way, pressing R... Yes, I remembered correctly, you... can turn around without actually moving. I'm awesome! Bow before me! Yeah, I have played the game the last time a few years ago, so it's very possible that I might get lost or stuck somewhere. The game also has a heavy emphasis on puzzles at times. A lot of times. And some of them I still don't know how to do, so I am going to use a guide for some of them. Eh, we could arrow it, but... Yeah, whatever, I'm gonna fight it anyway. There we go. Ah, 
I am so good at this game! Now, I'll be quite honest, I've played this game uh, when I was younger and all. But I, I don't really go much for nostalgia. I mean, I may remember games that I've played and I might become nostalgic about them. But overall, I am not one of those who goes really for nostalgia and loves everything nostalgic because it reminds me of my childhood or something like that. Mostly because majority of my childhood I have forgotten. Old man, you have tricked me. You will never see the light of day again. Yeah, as I said, I, I don't really go much for nostalgia. I mean, I still play the old games and I do feel memories flooding in on me saying that, hey, I remember this, I remember this happened when I played this game this one time. But overall... I see the flaws it has now and... I am pretty sure I also saw the flaws when I played the game as a child. Of course, there the flaws were either bigger for me or different ones. I like the idea of... If you don't know what to do, kill everything. Yay, I have a charred newt. Games that I still feel nostalgic about but can still see the problems. Um, the original Harvest Moon. I loved playing that as a child. I loved watching my brother play it as a child. Oh my god, I can cut grass with my sword? This is just like Legend of Zelda! Hey, what's that? Boring. And with the original Harvest Moon... I'm... thinking it's nice. I mean... Uh, when I played as a child, the flaws were that I wasn't very disciplined. I played the game when I was still in the single digits. So I, I wasn't disciplined, I wasn't very good at you know, keeping myself to a schedule or doing the very chore-ish, repetitive things. In Harvest Moon I mostly focused on dating one of the girls because that was more fun for me than grabbing the L kid. I was I always thought this was called Euclid. You know, like that city that you have to go to in Tales of Fantasia. Ugh, what does she want now? So in Harvest Moon I was always more focused on the Oh, they're having food together. Is she the love interest? I was more focused on dating rather than farming, so my end game score was generally pretty low and my farm wasn't very successful. But as I got older, I got better. Whoa, that's a long way of saying, God, this tastes disgusting. Hey, 
<laughs> yeah, but even as a child, I thought eh, the the game was pretty repetitive, which every Harvest Moon game is. Why the hell would you want to even eat something called phantom fish? Then again, I don't eat fish. I keep getting distracted. Wait, I remember. I recognize the theme. Oh god, no! It's the same theme as it plays in the ending! I mustn't cry! Must return to Harvest Moon before I cry. Um. But as I got older, got better at the farming and the repetitive stuff. And now I still think that the flaws are that the. Well, the lack of inventory can be pretty annoying. Did Paris Hilton die? No, wait, that would be good news. Oh no! Monsters. Whatever shall we do? I have no idea. Well, guess I'll just go through there and fight my way. It shouldn't be too difficult. After all, I can gil kill jellies. Hello. A woman different from the other women that you know? Whoever could that be? By the way, I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut out battles. Probably I will in the future. But right now, the battles are so short, it doesn't really matter that much. Rule number one of every RPG. Don't ever go into the first door. It's just gonna lead to something tragic. Or you can't do anything. There we go. Hooray! Oh my god! It can take two hits? Wow, things are really heating up here. Oh, the switch has defeated me once more. Wasn't there a place with lots of... Yeah, wasn't there a room here with like... A large row of monsters that I had to fight through to get a treasure chest. can jump! I like jumping! Ah, I have to go over there first. This is the problem with this game's controls. Sometimes they like to not react and continue to have you walk against a wall. This isn't the room that I was thinking of, but sure. 
let's just fight this stuff. Oh no. Two of them. I am doomed. DOOMED! Actually, do I have anything? No, I don't have any... something happening when my IP goes high. Oh, that increased MP? Huh. I thought a charred nude healed HP. Oh well. By the way, in case you have been wondering what I have been doing in the meantime of finishing my Romancing Saga 3 LP, I was first considering continuing my Ace Attorney Let's Plays, and I have started to record the next case, i.e. the first case of the second game. But... I decided to not do that yet. Ray, a power potion. It looks like a vase. But I decided that I need a bit of a... longer break of that... law system. And the other thing I've been doing was, I've been recording some footage from various Harvest Moon games to create a pro and con list of which Harvest Moon game might actually be quite fun to make an LP of. Right now I'm heavily leaning towards Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. Although... Where does this lead? Oh yes, it leads further on. The other one was the shortcut. I mean the dead end. I'm leaning towards Friends of Mineral Town, although... If I was... Hooray for free healing... You can talk? Anyhow, if I had a game capture device, I would probably do an LP of Magical Melody. I love that game, Magical Me Melody. It's, it's very nice. It's definitely... amongst my favorites, if not the favorite. I got the key to the door. I don't know. My cats take stuff and... I wouldn't call them THE most intelligent. What is it with games always using a red ball of light? Always to somehow mean the evil of the world is coming or something like that. I mean... Well, I don't think Terranigma had that, but Illusion of Gaia definitely had that red star in the sky that meant evil things was coming. Was it a thing in the 90s?
that is quite some nice 16 bits bright leg that you have there. Well, I did what I had to do. What level am I now anyway? Seven! Not bad. As you saw, I saved over my previous file, which was at about level 20 at not even the midpoint of the game. I think I was shortly beforehand. Why are you still attacking me? My IP is full! Anyway, I think that... I think that was a... I forget what is in here. I think it was a normal run-through. Oh yes, escape! It is a very nice item to use to get out of dungeons fast. Hooray for a fast-forward button! Well, not really fast forward, more like the pressed in turbo button. Oh, yes, now I remember this one. Now, like this, and. There we go. See, I do have some good skills in some puzzles. Although, I'm pretty sure that one of the later dungeons, the... The... There's a puzzle where you have to go through a room without having any of the plants grow so large that they puff some smoke or so at you and that resets the room, so that's definitely one where I need a guide. Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Maxime's a pussy. Oh, there was an earthquake. Okay. Well, they're kids. They'll believe anything. Adorable. Okay, you don't say anything interesting in your sleep. Then again, as far as I know, I don't either. Yes, a giant man stomping is much more believable than the idea that a catfish causes earthquakes. Who are you? Hey, nothing. Why is the dagger with a power of 61 
and the rapier, an actual sword, is just too better. Whatever. I always go for whatever gives me the best stuff. By the way, how silly of them to give me women's armor and come on! Who the hell is gonna have a woman in this party? Eh, why not? Let's just put everything onto us. Eh, nothing. I know about IP. Haha! <laughs> IP! Oh, a magic store! This is a healing spell, but several of the... What do you mean I can't learn Spark? But several of the... spells aren't that great. I mean, they're good, but they're not that amazing. Oh right, I forgot, this is where I can save inside cities. Well, anyway. I guess we should check out that cave here and see if there really is a catfish in there. However, I'm going to do that next time. So here goes for another hopefully fun and entertaining Let's Play, and I'll see you next time!